Hello, I had sent it to boy Frank. We got a great show for you today. We got some new games coming out and could follow up becoming a PlayStation VR. All that and more on The Frank Show. It's The Frank Show. What? The, the Frank, Frank Show. Come Frank, on, The Frank Show. What? The Frank Show. Come on, The Frank Show. What? The Frank Show. Come on, The Frank Show. Bitch, it's time for the show. All right, VR 180 is a new update coming to YouTube. Now, we're gonna be able to watch videos in 180 degrees, and the most important thing out of all this is it's coming to PlayStation VR as well. Now, they're working with a couple camera companies to make new point-and-shoot cameras that you can watch and create VR content on. Now, it'll be able to be able to update it and edit it in Adobe, which is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on it. You know we can't wait to bring as much virtual reality to this channel as possible. Now, this to be coming out this winter and I'm sure as soon as I find out more you'll find out more and for those of you saw in the galaxy alone a new update to Star Trek bridge crew is gonna have Watts and the artificial intelligence listen to whatever you say so if you're playing by yourself you'll be able to communicate with your crew finally now as of now it's only in English and I believe they want to add more languages in the future all right now a lot of people have been at and a lot of people have been asking me about this next topic Bravo team now we've got some brand new information about the co-op shooter with aim support coming to PlayStation VR. Now, I said before that this is team squad base and you're gonna have to work hard with your partner, but I didn't know how hard. Now, you can choose your loadout beforehand and they said that you really wanna think about your loadout when choosing it. Now, your partner might wanna have a sniper while you have some close range stuff so that when you're fighting off terrorists or whatever you're fighting off, you can call them and pick them off from a distance or close up. And when you switch from cover spot to cover spot, the game's gonna jump to a third person camera and as soon as you're in the cover, jump back to first person and you're actually gonna have to duck and dodge to make sure you don't get hit. Now, I can't wait to play this one. Everyone has played it said it was phenomenal and whether you're playing it single or co-op, it's supposed to be a great game. All right, now next up is Visage. This is a new psychological horror game and I'm not 100% sure it's coming to PlayStation VR, but then again, I'm not 100% sure it's not. If you jump over to their Kickstarter page, they definitely definitely reached their goal and one of their stretch goals was VR support which they reached and I mean completely surpassed that one by like six of them or goals so I do hope that it's PlayStation VR it looks extremely cool it's one of those haunted house kind of thriller games where you get lost in mazes and puzzles and all that kind of stuff but but hey I, I, I'm into the atmosphere so I think it could be a great time and for all you lovely weeaboos out there Allison Snow for Summer Lesson was finally released now you can't get it in the US yet but if you you look online you can get it if you want to there's a new trailer that's up behind me if you want to check out the full thing link is in the description all right media pro the spanish broadcaster is bringing us a new vr game it's called flippy's tesla now i don't really know any more information other than that and they're working with playstation talent so i'm excited that sony's working with more and more developers around the world now we're gonna know a little bit more about this one at game lab barcelona on june 28th and i hope we find out about a couple more vr games as well then all right, now the big news, Fallout 4 VR. Is it coming to PlayStation VR? Now, tons of people keep asking me a question. First up, we had the JB Hi-Fi, which I'm so sorry that I didn't know what JB Hi-Fi was. You have corrected me. It will not happen again. My apologies. But then we had the Amazon Italy listing, and like I said, don't trust Italians. I'm Italian, and you know what? I don't trust them with some kind of media news. But honestly, with gaming media, I don't know that I trust them. But now, now, we have this interview with Rusadit from E3 where they talked to Pete Hines, and, and I, I, I shut up and I'll play the clip. So now in uh, in Fallout 4, will we have like the Pip-Boy on our wrist? Is it, are we looking down to activate yeah, to all of it? Yeah, to pull up the Pip-Boy, you do this look down at wow. it yeah. yeah like i mean th there you know there there is going to be uh depending on the platform like other other options um, you know. all right see see he talked about other platforms now some of you might say frankie that's the riff duh i i mean why wouldn't it come to that and you know what it, i don't think so because xenomax which is part of bethesda because xenomax which because Bethesda is part of Zenimax, and Zenimax has a big issue with Oculus Rift right now, and a giant lawsuit that I think may have just ended or isn't over yet. So if they're talking about any VR platforms, the only options are Vive, Rift, and PlayStation VR. So if Rift is completely out of the mix, all we got is PlayStation VR left. Now, I'm not 100% sure that that's a definite confirmation. He may have just been slipping up, but 
I mean, what does it mean to you? I, I hope that we get it. I doubt that we're gonna get it the same time as Vive. If we do get it, it's probably just getting started out, built right now, and they're trying to optimize it. But hey, that could be pretty awesome. W what do you guys think? Let me know in the description, as always. I mean, the comments, you, you know what I mean. Now, that's it for the show. All right, now I want to ask Frank. First up, Tom Argente says, hey Frank, we're gonna get any Bridge Crew DLC. Now Tom, I'm pretty sure they're working on DLC. Originally, it was just delayed because they wanted to give us that extra bridge, the old Enterprise, so I hope they're working on DLC. I know it's been a great response from the community. I've seen a ton of funny videos come out of it, so I definitely think that Ubisoft is probably getting some money out of it, so hopefully they invest a little more. All right, Fook Sheet says, hey Frank, you gonna make a Rift Vibe channel? Now Fook, I don't know. I, I thought about it before, I haven't something like the Rift Report or the Vive Times, but honestly, I'd have to go out of my way to research all of that, and PlayStation VR is really my heart. If if the people want it, hey, I'll do it, but it's all on you. I write and Sippet says, hey Frank, what's the best games with move support? Now Sippet's mentioned he has Windlands and Worlds, and honestly, dude, I love Rush of Blood. It's, it's so much fun. I mean, some people get a little sick from the roller coaster ride aspects, but honestly, though, I wouldn't worry about that. Now, Hollow Ball is also a fantastic title. It'll have you jumping around and moving all around your room. Just be careful, you might smash something in your house. And finally, Fruit Ninja is honestly phenomenal. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of the cell phone game, but on the PlayStation VR, just slicing and dicing is pretty dang cool. All right, that's it for the show today. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for making it through all of this if you did. You're beautiful. You're an amazing person. Go out and have a wonderful day. Now, give yourselves a thumbs up, and if you think I deserve it, give me one as well. But more important than all of that is that if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug, freaking subscribe. I mean, come on. Oh, 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 and hey, if you haven't seen this video right here, this one, check it out. It, it, it's a pretty cool video. This one, th this video right here, that one right there, it's got Frank in it, that's me.